Three-point game, 4.3 left. It's guarding Aiken, it is into Aiken. Got it ahead to mid-court for the tie up in the end. Welcome to the top 10 games of the century, where we look back at some of the most exciting and important key wins in Harvard history. At number nine, men's basketball versus Columbia on February 8th of 2019. From Levitis Pavilion on the campus of Harvard University, this is the Ivy League on ESPN. Tonight, the Columbia Lions in town to take on the Harvard Crimson. Hey, to jump center, the 6'10 junior forward against Chris Lewis. Harvard entered the game near the top of the Ivy League standings and looked to defend home court against Columbia, one of the craziest games in Harvard basketball history. Waited for his teammate to cut down the lane. Aiken on his step back, long two is good. No minute restriction. The Crimson got off to a hot shooting start, nailing four three-pointers in the first eight minutes to build a 17-9 lead. Harvard stepping back, and he's good for three. Noah Kirkwood, the first year out of Ottawa. Columbia had a game response. And off, Adlesh got the screen and the bucket. A personal 8-0 run by the Lions. Davis Quinton nice Adlesh cut the Harvard lead to one Adlesh. before back-to-back -back buckets by Patrick Capay and a tie bibs three-pointer stretched the Lions' lead to six at 31-25. Look is Pips from three. A fourth consecutive triple knocked down by the Lions, and it is a 9-0 run. Well, Bryce Aiken returning for his fifth game of the season and gets himself to the foul line. Yeah, able to weave his way up the court in transition. That's when Harvard Knowing junior guard Bryce Aiken started to heat up. Four minutes, Aiken to answer. The Crimson closed the half on a 12-6 run with Aiken scoring eight of Harvard's 12 points during that stretch. And the Crimson led 37-36 at the half. Aiken on the slide inside, the kick works around, Baker gave it up, Wells wide open three. The game continued to seesaw in the second half. After a Quinton Adlesh three cut Harvard's lead to 51-50 with 12.22 to go, Harvard surged in front. Aiken and classmate Christian Juzang combined for an 8-0 run to put Harvard ahead 59-50 with 9.26 to play. Down to seven to shoot, pull up, three is good! But the game had another turn. Harvard went scoreless for nearly five minutes, and Columbia surged back in front with an 11-0 run, punctuated by another Adlesh three that put the Lions ahead 61-59. Three Adlesh, good! And a three-pointer for Columbia. As the game advanced to the final two minutes of regulation, the roller coaster ride continued. Randy Brumont broke his 62 all tie with a putback bucket. Two point lead, Columbia. Good things happen though when you're aggressive. Get Bryce Aiken had the answer again, knocking down a three to put Harvard back in front. To clean it up. Aiken long three is good. First field goal made for Harvard in almost eight minutes. Adlesh. Throwing it back, and the thunder from Tepe for a one-point lead. Just three to shoot for Aiken. Free throw line, jumper, good! At the horn! After the teams traded buckets again and Harvard made a couple of additional free throws, the Crimson led 69-66 with less than five so seconds to play. it is a three-point game, and Columbia will immediately use its timeout and draw it up at the full court with Harvard up by three. Now Columbia rushed the ball up the floor and Gabe Stefanini beat the buzzer to force overtime with a fall away three. Trying to three for the tie, good! Count it for Stefanini! Baker made two free throws at that. 69-69 in overtime. In the first overtime, Columbia jumped ahead by six with just 1.41 to go after Stefanini connected from downtown again. He's got it, had to shoot from way out, and it banks in! Once more, it was Aiken there with the response. The junior would score 10 points over the final 141, and he sent the game to double overtime with an absurd desperation heave to beat the buzzer and tie the game at 81. Point game, 4.3 left. It's guarding Aiken, it is into Aiken. Got it ahead to mid-court for the tie up in the air, good! Aiken 
Michigan scored eight more points in the second overtime to put Harvard ahead. That is 40. But Columbia's Jake Killingsworth tied the game with a three in the final 20 seconds. Killingsworth got open, and the three to tie. As the game stretched to a third overtime, Harvard jumped ahead for good on Noah Kirkwood's three-pointer with 108 to go, giving the Crimson a three-point lead. kicks Kirkwood three. Good! What a big shot for the first year, Noah Kirkwood. He has eight. Bryce Aiken provided separation with his 43rd and 44th points of the night coming from the free throw line as the Crimson finished off a thrilling 98-96 win. How much fun was that? It was tiring more than anything, but yeah, I had a blast. It was a competitive game, you know, both teams going at it. Aiken's 44 points were the second most in the game by a Harvard player all time, and the Crimson moved to 4-1 and one in Ivy League play. That was Duncan's squad was wrong, I guess. Number one, you had called this highlight Bryce Aiken for the tie. How many OTs did this go? Three. Triple. Triple overtime. Look at how hard this is to do. Body weight, all off balance, and it goes in all good for the tie. Join us again next week as we look at the number eight ranked game of the last century in Harvard Athletics.